Our workshop was about uh, bringing uh, the design process to a group of uh, folks passionate about medical devices. Stacy and I work uh, in the health and wellness practice at IDEO and we uh, have a process uh, for innovation. Our design process, I think there are a few tenets that are worth noting, right? The first is we're very passionate about being user-centered, so rather than designing from an engineer's whim, it's about understanding ultimately who your end user is and what latent needs they have, whether they know it or not. Uh, and then using that as the foundation for actually making good decisions about what you actually design. Uh, the other aspect, I think, of our process that we hold quite dear is this idea of iterative prototyping, the idea of failing early and failing fast when you have a minimum of investment in terms of time and effort, because that allows you to work out all the kinks uh, far before you get to a point where it's too late to do so. You know, tips for integrating creativity into design um, really isn't about ignoring the regulatory hurdles you have. I mean, those are, uh, um, those are unavoidable in the work that we do, right? It's about making sure that you bring them in at the right time, right? You know, uh, putting the hurdles up and the barriers up before you have a chance to even explore the space um, tends to squelch creativity, right? And so give yourself the freedom and the room to actually explore broadly before you apply those constraints right. because there's plenty of time to apply those constraints later, but there's not enough time later on to actually go be creative again.